Hey, what's going on? Someone's here playing the most voted hero, Predator. Yeah. So, Predator, most voted a carry hero. That is really good early game and really good late game. And mid game depends on his farm, kind of. So what Predator is about? Well, he's, I think, the only carry who has magic immunity, which is a ridiculous thing, especially on a low cooldown. Counter picks for him are obviously heroes like Panda and uh, Rampage Legionnaire to some extent, because they deal and use physical skills. I just went here with the magic shot to make sure that he's okay. Now I'm gonna try and block this creep, these creeps as much as I can. But yeah, playing Predator. Carry. And as a carry, remember, you just get a farm. And think about farm all the time. You'll make up, like, you'll make up to your team. You'll make up for it to your team late game. So they have a jungler keeper in the forest, which means we should be careful. Maybe we should sometimes gank the enemy forest. And it means that top is also going to be so also terminal warden top okay so there are different builds on predator and they're all very situational and my favorite build is well not my favorite well yeah my favorite build is maxing out air q because it's a nuke it's a nuke it deals damage the cooldown and mana cost stays the same on all levels and with nukes like this, and with most nukes that deal damage, you have to max them up early early game or they're gonna be useless late game, which is a huge problem. You're basically wasting potential. So yeah, max out your nukes when you can. That's why I'm maxing it out. Put one level in my third skill, because it gives 4% at level 1, and only 1% per level afterwards. And one point in my second skill, because it gives magic community, I can use it. And that pretty much sums up. Max out Q, grab ultimate when available. I'm pushing pretty hard. I'm gonna try and block these creeps. The Antichon has the right idea too. How did... This, this Emerald Warden is getting way more last hits than he should be getting. So yeah, it's rare that I'm a yellow player. And it feels good, I love being orange or brown in games. And I can do whatever I want and blame the team, which is the name of my clan that I created, as you can see. I'm in a clan. Yep, yep. Blame the team, man. Last clan in Europe. That was retarded. So right now I'm thinking of maybe getting a life too, because that guy is really annoying. can go bottom now. Lol. So yeah, I need a life too, because it's really annoying. Really annoying. People hate Hell in the Black Legion and Predator for some reason lately. Like, I'm like, dude, what? Why? It gives you survivability. On top of, like, as I said, build on your hero strength. Yeah, he can deal a lot of damage, but his third skill and his second skill help him survive. Like they give survivability, so build on a survivability. Tanky metagame is the new metagame anyway. Everyone builds tanky, so why not do it? It's good. As you can see, I'm already almost full health. That's how good the life tip is. I, I won't like go Helm the Black Legion now, like right away. But I might go in the future. I don't know why people hate it. it seems. Everyone just seems to be getting shield breakers now because oh his ultimate is minus two armor in level one or minus four in level two. 
gotta get shield breaker. The problem is after you after you leap and like hit him a few times, that's it. He's gonna get away. You're not gonna like, leap for another 10 seconds. Plus he has escape mechanism that disables. You can't really just go for shield breaker every game. It's situational. I prefer Frostburn much more to Shieldbreaker. It's so good. Frostburn, man. And yeah, I think that Jungle Predator is just a waste of his potential. He's better off in the lane. I'm gonna pull the creeps a bit closer to me. Or not. Seems they're retarded. Kills already? For some reason the creeps don't want to go to me. He's level 5, what is he gonna do? Why did he come here? Maybe to give me some experience? Can I damage him a bit? Oh, cancelled my attack animation there. Can deal some damage. My second skill is up. Look at the mana. Both my first and second skill will cost 165, so I don't have enough for that. One health as always. Pro, I mean. Yeah, pro skill. One health, bro. Uh, now I have to go back, I guess. I can't try and stay since he's pushing the lane anyway, and I have a ton of health regen. He's level 6 though. He couldn't have enough mana for his root thingy, which he does. Oh man, I wanted to run away, but one hit. Yeah. Killed him too, but yeah, I wanted to leap, hit once, and run away, but didn't survive long enough. Sucks to be me. Alert. The control point is being captured. Being dead sucks and boring. And my GPM is dropping because I suck too hard. Actually, no. I don't want to go for a chalice this game. I'm gonna go for something different. Which you will see later, maybe. It's hot now, huh? Pretty annoying, but dealable with. As you can see, I've already regenerated that hawk attack. That was bad. Yeah, man. Your ultimate gives you attack and movement speed for a few seconds when you hit him. That's why I, that's why I was able to catch up with him and kill him. So, yeah, fifteen percent movement speed. Does it improve with levels? No. Sucks, but deal with it. I have to. No point in going bottom to try and help when I'm low on health and mana, just gotta keep farming, farm, remember your carry, you will help your team later on, you just have to farm. If you're not sure if your help will actually net your kill, then just don't go. Even if it's to defend a tower, unless it's like super drastic, don't do it. Looks like Emerald, Emerald Warden is watching, yeah, and then he, there he is teleporting back. Wow, it's not Emerald Warden, it's Revenant. Why? And he's really aggressive too. I think someone's coming, maybe Keeper. Or Emerald Warden. Oh. 
God damn it, this guy. Out of mana. See, I wasted time coming here. I should have not have done that. And now I'm dead. But I should be fine. Yeah, I should have just stayed top, man. But then again, I didn't know that Emerald Warden was there. So the item I wanted to go for was this. Gives me some mana regen. And can be used late game for a lifesteal. I think I'll wait for the TP. I'm just teleport to the top lane. Revenant teleporting probably bottom. Yep. I'm gonna go back top and farm because I only have 300 GP. Okay, he got him. I don't need to help. But I can't have a good job because that really was a good job. I guess we're pushing this lane. Yeah, I forgot to turn on the ring since we were pushing. I just turn it off instinctively because I usually turn it off. Wait, what is that? Good? Oh, there's two of them. This is bad. I'm using my magic community, and yeah. This is just the beginning of the These guys probably dead. <laughs> Good job. Yep. No, I didn't pop my second ultimate right away. I mean, my second, not ultimate. <laughs> Two ultimates, that would be pretty epic. My second skill right away because I knew Munkun would use her ultimate. Because, oh, he was brown and I was like, okay, he's here because he thinks I'll leap on him and then he will ultimate. So I leaped on him, but I didn't use my magic community, which he maybe didn't expect. Whoa, this is epic teamwork, man. Okay, this is dangerous. Who wants some of this? So, yeah, do I need survivability at the moment? Well, not really. I prefer more damage so that I can farm faster. So that's what we're gonna do. Go for more damage. And survivability. How am I gonna do both? Well, I'm gonna get this item. And... Yeah, I don't really have many options right now. Just have to get this and I guess this. So yeah, no TP in my inventory. I'm bad. Oh yeah, there was an issue I wanted to mention, which I hope you can answer in the comment section. Uh, there was one report of someone not seeing my videos, like, that they were uploaded, even though he's a subscriber, and he asked to manually check my channel for them. And I want to ask, is anyone else having these issues? Because I have an idea what might be the cause. Okay, this is bad. How does his first skill work on me? That's BS. Why did he not stun? Dude, where's the stun? Oh, thank god. Thanks. Thanks, dude. I hope I won't die. 
in any case I can get this item. No! Oh. One second left on my magic community. Oh well, I got the item at least. Right when I had enough gold. So yeah, gold, gold loss to dying from two deaths. Below 200, which is pretty good. Perhaps I should have ran just this way instead, but my first thought was go get and go and get a TP and try to TP away. And my second thought was I have exactly 750 gold. I should finish my frost brand recipe. Frost brand is that what it's called? Ice brand. I'm gonna go farm. My GPM is dropping. By the way, I had this problem where I couldn't see my GPM. You have to unapply your mods, like unapply them and then reapply them. Just like just reapplying them for the new patch didn't fix it. I had to unapply and reapply them. And by mods, I mean my mana cost mod, which is amazing. It's so good. So your second skill is kind of like a double-edged sword on Predator. You can try use it when enemy projectiles are in mid-air, like when they use your skills on you, and you use your immunity, they basically waste their skills. Or you can just use it beforehand and just remain safe for the duration. Why it's a double-edged sword? Because if you try to time it and waste their skills, then there's a possibility that you will get owned. Because like you might do it half a second too late and silence will hit you and then you will get screwed over by the enemy team. Which is very easy to happen. He's near trees, he will go invisible if I attack and then get me back. Wait, did I just see someone else there? Or am I glitching? Three kills already gets the double. And he goes invisible just like I predicted, yeah. I got that last hit. Yeah, even though your ultimate has a low cooldown, you have to be careful when to use it, because usually it will be just once per team fight, or sometimes even less often than that. So just be careful when you use your ultimate. What other tips can I give? In jungling Predator could max out his third skill, but even when jungling and if jungling, I still think that you should try and max out your first skill, even if jungling becomes a bit harder and slower. My first skill is so good. Early game and late game, it's okay. Just to get to the opponent and slow him down. I wonder if, like, your third skill, it deals damage based on their current health, and it's 4% on level 1 and only 1% per level afterwards. Maybe it's a valid build to put one level in this skill and then just go for his stats. I don't know. That, that could be possible. I think I'll try this game, actually. First time I do this, of course, but still. What if it works? Teamwork, bitch. Yeah. 
Almost got Pebbles and Pebbles is trolling. Yeah, I should go back now. So yeah, that's my Frostburn finished. My favorite item on Predator now. Okay, Pebbles going for de Demonic, which is a signal for me not to go for Demonic. Okay, what do I do with... Okay, okay, I'll have to get rid of the Hatchet. I don't like it, because Hatchet is... I actually think it's pretty good even late game. I mean, it's 32% bonus damage to creeps, which is pretty good. <clears throat> I don't think he will do anything when we're near. And as long as we're near, so... I'm just looking to make sure that Scott is not initiating, and... Yeah, I don't think he is. So I guess I'll just finish my Helm the Back Legion and what is it called? Abyssal Skull. Get the items. And this is something I wanted to mention, like when this feature was first implemented, I'm not sure if I said it in this video, I don't think so. Uh, seeing enemy items when you just hover over them and being able to do the same on the minimap. Well, yeah, when it was first implemented, I would like hover over people on the minimap and people here, like on the screen, and I would not understand, like totally have no idea what items they have, because it moved too fast or some other stuff that prevented me, like, it was really hard to tell. And by the way, I'm not going for the stats builds, and now I am. Yeah, going for stats now. <laughs> God damn it, this is bad. Or not. Yeah, something I'd like to... Uh, so, as I was saying on, on that subject, and now I can actually tell what items they have just by hovering over them. I'm not sure if this was a graphical change by the developers, or I'm just used to it, but I can tell. I can even tell what rune they have in the bottle on the minimap when I just hover over. So yeah, it takes time getting used to useful now. I thought it was useless before because it moved too fast, but I don't know. It could be just me. So your second skill, don't forget, it gives you 12 armor. So it also gives armor. It's not just magic community. Which means you can use it against physical attacks, including, for example, Denwood. If he, like, teleports on you and s starts, like, swinging for his ultimate, don't think that, oh, it will go for my magic community, I should not just waste my W. Yes, do so, by all means. Just press W, because it gives armor. He will deal less damage to you. So don't worry too much about it. It gives armor, and it can be used for the armor. I mean, it's a difference if I have 10 armor or I have 22 armor, obviously. How did he become invisible? Oh, I see. What the hell did I just do? And this is what Frostburn allows me, to chase people. Oh, we have a Tempest? <laughs> we had a Tempest. So yeah, Frostburn, that's why I like it, because you can chase people. Not only do you move faster, and that's obviously more survivability, but you also chase people because you slow down. The slow is really good. That was an interesting top, so yeah, that's my clan. Blame the team. You should totally join it. We can troll together in teams. Like, if we play together, we just blame each other, and if you play in, like solo or something, you just blame everyone. Blame the team, and you can blame the enemy team too. Like, the enemy team sucked. You can see that.
So yeah, that was really nice. That's blame the team, eh? my clan. Don't forget that I'm still accepting top play. So we've had the top play just submitted. If I didn't put in a video, then maybe it was just like a little bit not good enough, or maybe I just suck as a judge. But still, please submit and yeah, get famous or something. And don't forget about the issue I asked. Like, are the videos really not showing up in your subscription box? If not, then I think I know how to fix it. Which will be a bit more work for me, but it will probably get fixed. Yeah, so I was yellow and I raped. And I'm quite below the MMR I used to be. And anything else I want to mention? Yeah, don't forget my chat channel. Just tap Somas here and vote. Vote. You can actually vote on what I play in the description. There will be a link. Just go there and vote. It takes like literally one second. No registration. Just like click on the hero you want me to play. They're organized in an alphabetical order. The last five heroes that I played will not be in it. And the newest heroes not as well. But all the others one all the other ones will be. And remember that it's a D Madman and D Gladiator and D Dark Lady and D someone else, I think. So if you don't see him in the list, check D, because it's S2 that added D, not me. So yeah. Today I played with viewers, I remember, and I got trolled pretty hard. So I blamed them and they blamed me, or did they? Don't remember, but it was fun. Yeah, and I only lost like four for MMR, I think, from like three losses, so didn't care too much about that. So that's Predator. Don't forget to vote for what I play. And I have quite a few plans for videos, which are a tutorial video on hotkeys, because people have been asking what hotkey to use and how to configure them, how to set up Han mods and stuff. Yeah, I could do a short, well, 10, 15 minutes video on that. And so much support. I still have that account and I still want to play on it and feature some more supporting heroes because people just want me to play carries for some reason. Which, how you play them, you just farm. You just, GPM is everything. And if you're not doing well in GPM, then GG. Yeah, it can be summed up as that. Well, see you next time.